Hello everyone, this is Nikdha Mahapatra intern at LexClick and in today's video I will be talking about the power to call for information, inspect books and conduct inquiries in a company. Section 206 and subsection 1 of the Companies Act provides that if the registrar on a scrutiny of any document filed by a company or on any information received by him is of the opinion that any further information or explanation or any further documents relating to the company is necessary, he may require the company to furnish in writing such information or explanation or to produce such documents. The registrar will give a written notice to the company for that purpose specifying to provide the desired information or documents within a reasonable time. The expression document includes summons, notice, requisition, order, declaration, form and register which whether were issued, sent or kept in pursuance of this act or under any other law for the time being in force or otherwise maintained on paper on electron or electronic form. This was mentioned in section 2 of subsection 36 in the Companies Act. The registrar may by another notice call on the company to produce for his inspection such further books of accounts, books, papers and explanations if first the company fails to furnish the information or explanation within the time specified or second the registrar is of the opinion that the information or explanation furnished is not adequate or third, the registrar is satisfied that an unsatisfactory state of affairs exists in the company and does not disclose a full and fair statement of the information. The registrar shall specify the time and place for production of books etc. Before serving the notice, the registrar shall record the reason in writing for issuing such a notice. This was provision in section 206 subsection 3 of the Companies Act. Under section 206 subsection 4, if the registrar is satisfied on the basis of information available with or furnished to him or on a presentation made to him by any person that first the business of a company is being carried on for a fraudulent or unlawful purpose or second not in compliance with the provisions of this act or third if the grievances of the investors are not being addressed, he may call on the company to furnish in writing any information or explanation on matters specified in the order within such time as may be specified. The registrar shall inform the company of the allegations made against it by a written order and carry out such inquiry as he deems fit after providing the company a reasonable opportunity of being heard. Central government may, if it is satisfied that the circumstances so warrant, inquiry the registrar or an inspector appointed by it for the purpose to carry out the inquiry order under this subsection, proviso to section 206 subsection 4. The central government may, first, if it is satisfied that the circumstances so warrant direct inspection of books and papers of a company by the registrar or an inspector appointed by it for the purpose, which is mentioned in section 206 subsection 5, or second, having regard to the circumstances by general or special order, authorize any statutory authority to carry out the, in the inspection of books books of account of a company or class of companies. This has been provisioned in section 206 of section 6 of the Companies Act. A combined reading of the various subsections of 206 suggests that the central government may order the inspection either by the registrar or an inspector appointed under subsection 5 or by any statutory authority under subsection 6. The subject matter of inspection in subsection 6 is books and papers, whereas the subsection 7, the expression used is books of account. The definition of books and paper as per section 2, subsection 12 is much wider and includes books of account, deeds, 
vouchers, writings, documents, minutes, and registers maintained on paper or electronic form. Inspection is a useful instrument and the preliminary step for finding out materials and facts would just initiation of investigation under section 210. It is noticed from the annual reports of the Department of Company Affairs that the books of account and other records of the companies are inspected selectively by office of the Director of Ins Directorate of Inspection authorized for this purpose under this section. Besides cases involving non-compliance of certain provisions of the Act, including inadequate maintenance of statutory records, noticed during such inspections are also taken up with the companies for necessary remedial action, information of interest to other government departments or agencies as brought out in the inspection reports is also communicated to them for suitable and appropriate reaction. Thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel.